Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray, and today we're doing another smartphone camera test with the all new Honor 70, which I'm using to record right now with its selfie camera. Now, as I do on all these smartphone camera tests, everything that you see in this video is recorded on this device. So just keep an eye on the bottom of the screen to see which cameras from the device are being used for the photos and videos that you see. So without further ado, let's jump in to see how this device fares in everyday use. Let's take a look. Now typically when recording video with a selfie camera, you do typically have a slightly wider field of view than you do on this device. This is just a little bit too close for comfort in situations like this when you, I want to be able to capture myself and some of my surroundings as well. If there was someone else that I wanted to get in the shot, it would actually be very hard to fit everybody in. And while this camera does focus fairly close on subjects like this, I'm about six inches away from this rose, it would be nice to be able to capture macro video with that ultra wide camera as you can capture photos. Not sure why that feature is not enabled on this device. As mentioned at the beginning, the selfie camera on this device isn't able to capture 4K video, though you can capture video of yourself using the ultra wide camera on the back of the phone. Just got to make sure you're framed up perfectly right in the middle, which isn't too hard with an ultra wide camera like this. And this here's a look at the video capture from that selfie camera for an immediate comparison to that ultra wide on the back of the phone. It's honestly not too bad in situations like this, even though you don't have that 4K video capture but we'll have to wait to see how it looks in low light conditions as well. already capturing video with the selfie camera is a little bit harder than it should be just because it's not as wide as it is on a lot of other devices so I'm gonna switch over to the ultra wide camera on the back of this phone to capture a little bit more of the scenery around me 
And here we go, switched over to the ultra wide camera on the back of the phone. And honestly, this is really easy to frame yourself. Just make sure you hold the phone right in front of your face and you should be set to go. But as you can see, you can see a lot more around me right now than I could with that selfie camera on the front of the device. Also, this is 4K video as opposed to 1080p, which is definitely a lot better. And the resolution here, not only that, but also with the dynamic range that this can capture, definitely a lot better than what you get from that selfie camera. Of course, if you do want the best results possible, you do want to make sure that you're recording with that main camera on the back of the phone. As you can see here, the dynamic range that this sensor can capture is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to zoom out here and show you the difference between that main sensor and then switching over to the ultra wide. This one does okay, but you can definitely see there's a good difference in the dynamic range between those two sensors. So if you want to make sure you're capturing as much detail as possible, that main sensor is the way to go. Over there, uh, I really enjoy the Pergamon. Uh, it has a lot of very old uh, structures and things like that inside. It's a very well done museum, but uh, it is not. Perfect. So I am not following it as often as I want. Uh, but the Altus Museum uh, is one of the. And this here is a video capture with the Honor 70 in low light conditions. Starting off with the ultra wide camera and then moving up into that main sensor. Again, not a huge fan of the sliding mechanism you have to use between the two sensors going from the ultra wide to that main sensor. It would be nice to have a single point and tap on the screen. But honestly, this is actually pretty decent video capture for a device at this price point with this main sensor, honestly doing a lot better than what a lot of competing devices are able to capture. And then switching over to the selfie camera on the Honor 70, as you can tell, the overall image quality isn't that great when lighting conditions are extremely poor. If I step into really good lighting, it does get a little bit better. You can see a lot more detail in my face. 
Uh, as you can see, all of my wrinkles, but as soon as I go into lower lighting conditions, everything blurs up a little bit as the ISO is cranked up really high. So in situations like these, you always wanna make sure that you're using the rear cameras. And this here is just for comparison with the main camera on the back of the phone of the Honor 70. As you can see, it is a lot better than what you can capture with that selfie camera on the front of the phone. And that's going to do it for this camera test with the Honor 70. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and whether or not you think the Honor 70 is good enough for your day-to-day -day photos and videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.